Welcome everyone. We are going to install Art Survival Ascended Dedicated Manager. This is the manager that I recommend whenever there's a, a manager for your program that will do more than Windows GSM. I recommend using that. Um, the ASA manager gives access to just a ton more stuff, way easier. It's all visual, so it's it's a lot better. We'll see that here in a bit. So the first thing you need to know is ads are everywhere. There's minimum requirements. If you have Windows Server 2019, uh, it won't work before 2019, so it has to be that or newer. It'll have certificates to get the Windows Server to work. If you're on regular Windows, you need Net Framework 4.8 or better, and Visual C++ 2013 to 2022. Um, it says all versions, but likely you only need the latest. So you can try just installing the latest version and seeing if that one does the trick. It doesn't say 64 or 86. I'm assuming 64 only. We're going to go back home, and the download is at the very bottom of the screen. Don't fall for all of these download advertisements. You're looking for this yellow button down here. So we're going to give it a quick download. While that's downloading, go to the drive where you want to install the server and create a folder. So I have a server drive where all my games are located. So I created a folder ASA Server Manager already. Now our download is done. We are going to extract all into this folder. You don't have installation options. So if you want it in a particular place, that's where you want to put it. Okay, now we're going to go back to the drive. I'm going to create a shortcut here. So we'll double click on our shortcut here. And now we're going to select a profile. The island, that's fine with me. I just need to know what map I'm playing on. Okay, initialize a new pro. Now it's showing my old profiles in here. I'm going to initialize a new one. Select the server path. Okay, load profile. It worked. It's in red, so I wasn't sure. So that's that that first step is a little confusing. Now, the server's not actually installed. All we did so far was create a profile for the island. Now, I want to do all of the maps, but we're going to do this in pieces here. So first, let's install the island. Okay, so it's downloading the update for the install. And basically what that does, uh, it installs Steam command. It's downloading an update, which I'm not sure might be an update for Steam. Looks like it's an update for Steam. So basically, you're just going to have to wait, a, wait uh, depending on your bandwidth, you're going to have to wait a good while for this to install. So we'll pick this back up as soon as all the files are downloaded. Okay, our server finished downloading and it's installed. When it does that, this screen here shrinks up. We're going to open this up and take a look here. 
So we our map folder is the island, the map file, the island wp dot arc. Okay, now let's see what we need to do to set up our game. Okay, under command line, we'll just leave this for everybody. Under server IP, what you want to use is external IP. Um, if that doesn't work, if you're playing on a LAN and it doesn't work, you can try your internal IP. But if your um, external IP should work. We don't need the cluster ID. We don't need the custom path. All we want to do right now is a basic install. No mods, no anything. We just want to make sure everything connects before we start messing with anything. Server management. We don't care about restarts. Right now we don't even know if it works. Backups. We don't care. We don't know if it works. Okay. Game user settings. When you first come into this screen, this is going to be red. You're going to click remove read only. That will turn this to a usable button. And under this screen here, you're going to want to set your password and your session name. And you can set the max players and all that, but we can adjust that later. Right now, we just want to know if it works. Full server settings. We shouldn't need anything here right now. We're just trying to get up and going. Okay. So that should be it for that screen. Game I and I. That's just your multipliers. We don't need those right now. Let's just make sure it works. Custom override, same thing. Map management, same thing. So if you happen to use a command line change, then you may need to do some setup in here. Didn't. Mods, we're not doing mods yet. API management and logs. Okay, so we don't need any of these things to check and see if we work. So let's go back and click on the server management core and start our server. A console window should open. No mods from library. That's fine. We don't have any mods. We're going to give this, it can take, well, depending on your system, it can take a while. It's usually pretty quick. It gives us just enough time for coffee. Should be updating any second. There it goes. Okay, server my okay, so it accepted our name change. So it should have accepted our password. Okay, full startup 60 seconds. The island has started. And the server is advertising for join. Okay, so now we should be able to find it. So let's go start up the game and see if we can find it. We're going to start. We're going to join game. We're going to leave it on unofficial. And refresh, and there's our game. So if you have a password, you have to make sure this box is checked or not. So if we check this box with no password, it's not going to find a match. If we uncheck it, finds a match. PC only. You have the wrong box checked, not going to find a match. We have this set to PVE, not going to find a match. So if you're looking for your server for the first time, you really set it as generic as you can. All server types. Um, these other ones are easy enough to click and unclick and refresh. But So we found our server. Let's see if we can join. And we're in. 
the console will not update with players connecting and all that. So it's just going to leave it as completed startup advertising for join. And there we are. We're in the server. The first time you go in your server, you'll have to create a character and all that. And it'll take a, you know, take a little bit to get all loaded in. But that's it. We're in, we're in the game. So now we have this successfully running server. We'll go through some of the config files on other videos. Okay, my friends. It's fairly easy to get this program up and running once you go through a couple of quick little details on the server IP and the, the modifying the files. So. Don't be afraid to use this program. We'll go through the settings in other videos. Thanks and have a good day.